Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've Hello, you're with Libby Dyson from LibbyStamps.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. And today I thought I'd bring to you this really quick technique and how do I do that. And it's called direct-to-paper technique. And I've used Grace's Garden and Beautiful Moments along with the clear faceted gems, uh, seaside spray and soft seafoam and basic black. All right, so we'll get started. Oh, and I've stamped the inside of the card and the envelope using Grace's Garden. All right, so I've cut my card base to normal size and then the black on this one is 14.2 by 9.8 and then I have a piece of Whisper White which is 13.9 by 9.5 but I'll have all these measurements on my blog and so to do the direct to paper it's quite easy open up your ink pad and I might just push that ink in a bit more so this is how to take the ink off the top of your ink pad and push it down into the pad so it's not quite so inky and then just use a, a wet wipe or put it in the dishwasher when you're finished so take your ink pad and open it right up and your cardstock I'm going to turn this on its side and you're just going to drag across about halfway up you want it so drag across your card like this yep. just make this card and it worked beautifully and it doesn't matter if you get lights and darks so there we go and then that's um, the soft sea foam and then we're going to do the same with the seaside spray so just bring it round so that you can add your ink and you need to take it up to the bottom part and just drag across or up and down whichever works best for you and this time it's up and down is working quite well all right so that's direct paper that's as easy as it is and then you just go ahead and uh, stamp your bits and pieces so I'm using the girl from this single one here from beautiful moments and I'm just going to ink that up in memento and I'm using direct to rubber for this one and I'm going to try and do it I'm going to turn this on its side because I just really want her head there we go and then some of these flowers and this is from Grace's Garden and it's a photopolymer stamp set and I'm going to add these up the side here and I've got a couple more to add from Grace's Garden I'll add this one over here and the advantage of having the photopolymer set is that you can see where you're stamping and it doesn't matter that some of it goes over and then I'm just going to add some more of these little ones also from Grace's Garden, a little bit here, a bit here, and maybe another one here. So that's all the stamping, and then I'm just going to add some clear faceted gems. Um, and a small one, love these clear faceted gems. Great for cards, great for all your paper craft, great on scrapbook pages. And add this to our card front. Good that there's two sides to every bit of card. <laughs> it's 
So I've just used liquid glue on all of these layers. This one's a little bit different to the last one. And then I've got a bit more margin around the black on the sides. So there's the card and the inside and the envelope. And there's the one I did before. And so this is another of my How Do I Do That series. And you can buy all these products in my online store. And I'd love you to shop with me. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.